Hey. I'm going to do a song called Sonora. S O N O R A. Um, I think it's a song about a girl or a girl's smile or a town. I don't know, but I do know how to play most of it on guitar and uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to play. Okay, uh, there's a like a a pidgeo, like a three note sort of sequence that starts, and it's all it's just sort of like it around here. So, middle finger, second fret of the G string, first finger, first fret, and first fret there. So sort of have that rolled over, like a mini bar. I love mini bars. I'm sure I've said that before. And then you're just picking backwards quite fast. I never remember how many times you have to do it. Um, there's a bass line that, and then it has these changes that go with that, which makes it easier. I know I'm not making any sense. Just listen to the song and play it with someone else. Get someone to learn the bass line. The bass line is really cool at the start. And then it really helps the timing of these changes. But I feel like I'm not in camera. So. Then you're going to use your little finger on the third fret. The G of the E. The G of the E. E, F, F sharp, G do that same thing picking from the highest note back down then lift it up again so just do it once now this roll this finger up so that the high E becomes open and you've just got that first finger on the first fret the C of the B and that's the A of the G and this is the E of the E Anyway, that's probably enough to explain that and you listen to the song for the timing. Yep. Then comes out of that. Right, then you're just gonna take that shape and move it up. So second fret, second finger second fret of the D string, which is an E, that's on the first fret of the G. So that's a G sharp. It's like the bottom of an E chord. Yep. So it's based around that. You can play the E chord if you want, but you only have to play those four notes. I'm using those fingers because they were just being used for that. Then move them back down to where they were before. So the second on the G and the first on the B. But hit the open A first. Right. It's kind of like... Uh, which is an A minor. Just leaving out some notes, like that is E. Then the next go into like a uh, like an F shape, but we only need to play the third on the A, third on the D, and then the uh, second on the G. And then hit those two open, the B and the E open. Just take this shape up to five and five, back down to three and three, and then two and two, and slide up to three and back down. Or you could bend. Okay, so that bit again and again. Remember, you can play the E and the A minor chords, but I'm just going to play it the way that works out easier for me. Right, all that, all that jive, then I 
I change from that shape to that shape because I don't know if my pinky's strong enough to bend. Feels very damn weird. Anyway, now into the verse, and the verse is four chords. In fact, the whole song's four chords except when it changes key later on, which we might not even get to. I might do this in two videos. Same chords, but they, they change order. And for the verse, it's an A minor, but we're not strumming the whole chord. We're playing the open, the A, the root note, and then the two higher strings from the high from the back. So A minor is open A, second D, second G, first on the B, open E. Do that four times, then lift this finger up, put it up there, which makes it a C. That's the A, A sharp, B, third C. They're still in the same place and the same picking pattern. Then an F bar chord, so you're barring the first fret, and you've got third, third, second, and the bar completes the chord. The hardest thing, if, it's the hardest thing to learn an F major cut card F major chord it's hard it changes like you have to make a commitment to guitar to, to do an F chord and so it's a similar kind of picking thing yeah so root note and the just those two so actually these aren't needed but that feels very weird to just go especially if you miss it right because if you're strumming and you're standing up you might miss it and do a whole chord and you definitely don't want that. don't want that then down to the E in the same thing so four of the A minor two of the C one each of the F and the E then it builds up into the chorus and we're back on the starting on the A minor but strumming through it now instead of going to the C we can go to the F I'm just gonna play the F like that because I'm a lazy man I've just got used to playing that rather than that I don't know why I think again it's from playing standing up it's just it's really hard to do that you can play it like that if you want you can just play it like that if you want, but I like to wrap my thumb around onto that first fret. Then the C. Then the E. And strumming is like... No, I think I did that. Because the chord changes, again, it's one of those things where you just put your headphones on and listen to the song six times. Because you'll hear that the, the beat sort of propels the song. Then it sort of backs off. So every second chord's got that kind of like lurch to it. Um, sounds cool. It gives the song momentum. That's it. I'm going to do this some lead bits. Might as well do it. Might as well do it now. So all on the G string. One, two, three of them on the second fret. Then up to the fifth, then back to the second. Then back up to the five and slide up to the seven. Back to the five. Two. Then go right up to the ten. Again three, then nine, eight, and back to the nine. Then seven, five, four, and it, but with a, it's a little bit behind the beat, but it, like it's trying to catch up. It, it gives it that kind of jog, that western.
feel a bit silly playing that actually because yeah I've kind of got to pull a face to, to be able to get it I guess if you practice it a lot you could do it without pulling the face or you could just pull the face and just play that yeah. um, then it changes key goes up everything moves up three frets so so five to eight and uh, according the, the A minor becomes a C minor but this is only for two bars at the very end so you see you don't have to do it unless you like you know want to I mean it's kind of cool key changes are cool going from G sharp, a D sharp, and a G. Yeah. I'm sure you know all those chords. That moved up with the bar on the third. The E shaped moved up to there with the bar on the fourth. The A shaped moved up to there with the bar on the sixth. The D sharp on the D sharp on the A. And then a G, E, F, F sharp, G. I think I've had stupid sounds on that entire time. considerable effort but I love playing guitar have fun <laughs>